Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pretty little thing try on haul. And this is like my first time really trying out pretty little thing. I think I've bought maybe two items from them before, but I am really testing out a lot of different pieces from the straight sizes and also the plus size range. So if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts and how these clothes look on me, then stick around. Okay guys, so the first couple of items is actually a coordinate set. And as you can see, it is white. Um, with black pinstripes and I'm a little bit disappointed by the material this is like stretchy polyester I just feel like something like this should have been more of a less stretch material maybe like a chiffon or a polyester that just doesn't stretch because we know that polyester can be manipulated into many different types of fabrics um, but this here it's not as bad as I thought now it is made to have a low V so as you can see it only has two buttons here and um, you may want to do like a bralette underneath maybe a lace one I just have a bra on so you know it doesn't look as appropriate as it could but this is how it looks on me I'm 5'1 I do have on a heel um, and the pants are pretty long I can probably take about um, two inches off but it's not as bad as I thought I would have liked better quality don't get me wrong um, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it would so yeah let me know what you guys think so these next couple of items, I saw these all over the girls on Instagram and I also saw this a lot on the website. They just kept pairing these two items together. So it is like a nice pair of gray biker shorts. I believe all of this is inspired by Kim Kardashian. Um, so it's some gray biker shorts and just like a nice um, muted tone grayish blue top with the zip closure and I absolutely love these colors I don't have anything in my wardrobe uh, this blue color so I really want to try it out now because this is a crop top you guys know I have a whole stomach situation so I'm not going to be able to just do biker shorts and a crop top unless I wear some um, shapewear underneath but when you have on biker shorts you're going for really a laid back look so you don't want to wear like you know shapewear so I decided to pick up a fanny pack which I saw the model had on as well and that'll kind of hide the stomach a little bit so um, I love this look I'm not sure if I'll wear this all together I might um, but I would probably definitely have to wear shapewear just to feel more comfortable in it and not to be worried about you know problem areas showing um, the thing I will say is it's very comfortable I love the sleeves on this they're super long but they have like the um, elastic so you pull them up and it just looks super slouchy which I love and also the um, shorts are very comfortable and they're cotton but they're not the type of cotton that holds you in there I can tell they're gonna lose some shape because here they're just loose like right here um, or they kind of stick out I won't say loose but yeah both of these are in a size 12 so I would suggest if you want something that's gonna like really hold you in as far as the biker shorts go down a size um, if you don't have like a big butt or anything and with the shirt I mean it's a 12 it's supposed to be oversized and it's really cute so I would recommend this um, I like the material and everything um, as far as the top is concerned my only negative is the shorts and how they are not just really like tight spandex and of course you know this little fanny pack these are really in right now and this is like the perfect tonal outfit you know so you have your different shades of gray blues and it all just works so very Kim K very Instagram model what do you guys think okay guys so these next couple of pieces I had to try out a pair of the jeans I just feel like you can't really test out a company if you don't try out their jeans. So I picked up these jeans from the plus size section. They are a UK 16 size US 12. And I also got this wrap top. It's from the regular line in the size 12. Now the wrap top does show a little bit of midriff. Um, so, you know, be wary of that if that's not something that you're into. And also the jeans have like a little cutout right here under the butt. So 
that's another thing but I really do like the jeans uh, the quality is decent I would say forever 21 quality um, they're not super thick but I actually like that for the summertime but they feel nice they feel very comfortable and the length is good on me you guys know I'm short so I always struggle with that and I really like it now the top is cute too but I would obviously wear it with high-waisted jeans or something like that just to make sure that I'm concealing my midriff area and I really do like the collar detailing on this and this mauve color is just so pretty against brown skin so yeah I think that this is a winner um, what do you guys think really cute outfit I wish I would have got the top probably in a bigger size and also um, in different colors because I know they had like a cream one on there and I think black as well um, but I thought because it was long sleeves I would go for a little bit of color so that I can get away with wearing it you know in spring and summer but we have just jumped right into summer we didn't even get spring so um, still a cute little top though and you can just pair this with a skirt jeans like I have it or shorts or whatever have you so super cute and i love how long the tie is very cute now this comes on all the, uh, a lot of the garments uh, so that you can't i guess like wear it and take it back so if you don't want to keep it then make sure you leave this on so here is the look okay guys so this dress is one of my least favorites i'm just not a huge fan of the way that it fits on me i maybe should have went up a bigger size this is a size 12 from the plus size line um, but i absolutely hate the material it is like this stretchy crepe material it is like the cheapest material ever and it just feels kind of gross on i hate it um and i'm just not a huge fan of the style on me again maybe i should have gone up a size i like the length on me um, I just feel like this should be like a little bit more in the center or over here. You know what I mean? Not in the center. I mean like more wrap style. It does have this belt that is attached. Um, not my favorite. Now I don't have on any spanks or anything. So you're going to see lumps and bumps. But I'm just not a huge fan of the dress on me period. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys be the judge. What do you think? Okay guys. <laughs> These pants, like, they look so cute on the model. Uh, they do not look cute on me at all. And they have absolutely no stretch. So these are the most uncomfortable pants I have ever put on my body. And they also have a weird cut. I don't know if it's like straight leg or what, but they're just kind of like, I don't know, just kind of weird. Um, so these are a no-go. But the top here is decent. It is an off-the-shoulder kind of sweater with like these little flute sleeves still kind of cheap material i will say um but it's cute it came with this little knot in it so you can untie that if you want but i think this is like a cute little effortless top you can wear this with like some wide leg um pants or jeans or a skirt or whatever have you but yeah these pants are a no-go these are in a size 12 and i mean you see how these are looking okay it's a no man Okay guys, so I am loving this skirt. Now again, I don't have on the proper undergarments or shapewear, but I love this skirt. Now this is in a size 10, so it is a little bit tighter, but I love the way that it just kind of like hugs you. Um, so with the right shapewear, it's gonna give a really nice shape. And I love the white stripe detailing. You guys know I love the sports luxe vibe. I would probably pair this with um, a graphic t-shirt or something like that and some high heel sandals I think that would be really cute very Joan Clayton girlfriends you know or you can just wear it with like a little crop top or whatever have you um, but I would probably do like again a graphic tee tucked in or knotted you know with some heels pump something like that I think it's super cute and of course with some Spanx I love this you guys it has some little slits on the side but they're not too high up to where you can't wear your shapewear because I hate when clothes like reveal what I'm what I got going on underneath you know so this is like the perfect little slits super cute I love this it just seems like something you would get from Zara or something like that materials pretty good you know I really like it so what do you guys think okay so I was obviously in a snakeskin kind of mood because I picked up these like super stretchy snakeskin bell bottoms and these have been all over the place different prints but I like the snakeskin um, to me it's just a little bit more fashiony um, but these definitely need some shapewear okay because it's like wearing leggings but I have to admit I kind of like them so what do you guys think very stretchy very comfortable I would actually recommend you sizing down in these these are a 12 and they you know they're not tight 
but they're kind of loose, you know, but like they're comfortable. So I don't know. It just depends. Like if you don't have a stomach or anything, I would recommend you sizing down if you want them to kind of hug you perfectly. Um, but these are how they look. They are very long on me, you guys, because you're not, you know, I am 5'1". But other than that, not terrible. Definitely have to see how I'm going to like them with shapewear on because that will determine if I'm going to wear them out of the house. But other than that, I would say thumbs up with these. Pretty decent. And they don't like... Um, turn see-through when you put them on so that's a good thing okay guys so lastly i picked up this cropped sweater you guys this is like the thickest sweater ever now i have had some of these items for a little bit but now it's like 90 degrees outside so this is definitely a no-go right now but still a cute sweater i like how cropped it is this is how wide it goes and it's super slouchy I'm just loving the cut of it. That's the reason why I kind of picked it up. And it's tonal. It has like, you know, the pinkish nude. It has the beige nudes. Um, so just like a tonal nude look. But super cute. What do you guys think? Of course for the winter time. Because it's too hot. I'm about to burn up in this thing. But real cute. This is the bag. I like it. All right, guys, so that is the end of my Pretty Little Thing try-on haul. Please let me know which items were your favorite, if you liked any of them at all, and which were your not-so-favorite. Have you guys shopped at Pretty Little Thing before? Um, I want to know what you think of the quality. I feel like it's a very hit and miss. Some things are like super cute. I mean, of course, everything is very trendy and all of that, and decently affordable. But some things, they really miss the mark with the fabrics, you guys. Like, I have to say, wow. You know what I mean? Like, wow, wow, wow. But maybe it's just me. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these types of videos from me. And stay tuned to my next one. I'll talk to you girls later. Bye!